Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to go through why I went with Ubiquiti for my home camera system over Google Nest. Um, I'm gonna compare it to the Nest Cam IQ Outdoor, which is what I was about to get right before I got this. So we'll go through what I got, um, five different things, and then how much it costs retail. Uh, I didn't necessarily pay that, but, um, but we'll go through a retail so you can compare it. Um, and then what are the benefits? All right, so what did I get? I got five different things. I got the Unify uh, Protect Network Video Recorder. Um, it was $299. You can fit four different eight terabyte hard drives in it. Um, I got one eight terabyte hard drive. I didn't get um, uh, four of them. Uh, that cost $190. I probably could have got that cheaper. Um, and then I got the um, Unify uh, G4 Pro uh, camera, right? So. Uh, this was uh, $449, got one of these for the front. That's a 4K camera and it's a uh, PoE camera, right? It's a power over ethernet camera. So um, though you can do this a lot cheaper by just getting one of these little adapters, I got uh, the Unify Switch 850 watt um, switch. And uh, so this sends power to my camera, right? I can't just connect it directly to my router. This is $199. You can do this a lot cheaper. Um, but I got this actually for free for my brother. And then I got the G3 instant camera for my living area. Um, this is awesome. This is um, a 1080p camera. It's not uh, amazing quality or anything. It is wireless, uh, which I am not a fan of, but it's $29. So that's pretty awesome. So in total, I spent $1,166. Um, the Nest Cam IQ Outdoor Camera is $400, so that's a difference of $766. Um, so let's talk about uh, what I see as the benefits of going with Ubiquiti. First off, I only have uh, one 8 terabyte hard drive, um, and uh, I can on that with three cameras connected. I have the G3 Instant, I have the uh, G4 Pro, and I have an old uh, G3 camera, which I haven't even talked about because it's, um, I got it for free because it was all broken and everything, but it serves its purpose. It just shows me the office that I'm sitting here. I have three months of full 24-7 history with all three cameras on one eight terabyte hard drive. Um, and so that's, that's pretty fantastic in my opinion, right? All of the motion detection, everything is all there um, for three months. Um, it's stored on my own drive, right? I can actually add three more drives and I can have, you know, probably between six and nine months worth of 24-7 um, footage on my own drive. I can download it whenever I want. I can, I can do, um, I can pull it up on my computer. I can have it playing live um, on a uh, computer that I just have uh, sitting around. Uh, aside from the G3 Instant, it's not um, wireless, right? So it's playing like it's solid connection. It's always um, responsive. Uh, and so I like that. Um, 4K playback, right? So with the G4 uh, Pro camera, right? Um, this is uh, a 4K camera. It not only records uh, or has a sensor that's uh, 4K, it also plays back in 4K. That's the difference between the Nest Cam IQ Outdoor and this one is Nest Cam IQ Outdoor plays back in 1080p, right? And so when you zoom and stuff, it's it's grainy, right? It's not as good um, as uh, uh, the uh, 4K camera where you can play it live 4K. Um, so, and that's a difference, uh, I think in pixels, at least when I searched it, uh, of uh, 1920 uh, by 1080 versus 3840 by 2160. Like you can pay this camera on a 60 inch TV and it'll look beautiful. Um, no annual subscription. I don't pay $120 a year like you do uh, with Google. Um, and when you pay Google $120 a year, you get 10 days of 24 seven uh, video footage. Uh, and then 60 days of uh, event video history, um, which means like whatever, the 30 or 60 second clip or two minute clip, whatever it is that they save for you. Like, I don't know, I'd rather have the whole entire footage. Uh, the cost difference is uh, equates to basically six years of the subscription from what I paid. Remember, I went excessive. Like I got stuff that I honestly did not need to get. I could have just got smaller, um, like instead of this PoE switch, 
eight port switch, I could have just got like a 10, $15, you know, adapter or whatever. But I, uh, I don't know, I just opted for this. Plus I got it for free anyway. I mean, if you take that 200 bucks out, right, that takes, makes it maybe a five year, a little less than five years uh, worth of um, equal cost of the annual subscription. Also, it's wireless, right? And it's slower to respond. Now, I don't have the Nest Cam IQ outdoor. I was just planning on getting it. But I do have the Nest Cam IQ indoor, which is, you know, maybe like five or six feet that way in my garage. Um, and that thing, you know, it takes, and, and there's a, my router and my whole stuff is right here, right? So it's pretty close to the router. Uh, I also have boosters kind of all over the place. And that camera takes forever to connect um, whenever I'm uh, clicking on it or if there's motion while I'm clicking on the camera, it just, it freezes and then I have to like wait a few minutes and open it, which is very frustrating. Um, the G4, for example, this is hardwired. My G3 here is hardwired, right? Um, directly to my, N or directly to my um, PoE switch, my network, and then my NVR, right? So. It's um, it's really fast. You open it up, it's immediate. You can scroll through and like literally up uh, the camera history and I'll show you that here. So for example, I click in here, right? Like I can go through days and days and days of history. Um, and you can't probably see the quality of that camera, uh, but it's amazing. I'll try to put a, a screenshot uh, from the camera of the front door during the day. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I'll, I'll see if I can actually get a screenshot of the night too and then just throw that in there if I'm not too lazy. Um, it's amazing, it's perfect quality. Um, so anyway, that was a very, very short video but that's exactly why I got it. Is it worth it for you to spend $766 more? Um, though you can do it cheaper to get this set up versus Google, that's your call. Um, and whether or not you have want how much access you want to your footage, um, how quickly you want access to it, um, how great you need the quality to be, um, and how much footage you actually need. I mean, if you're good with just a little bit of um, footage that they save for you uh, for 60 days, then you don't need this setup. Um, but anyway, that was it. If you have any questions, you can post them below and I'll try to respond to some of these.